Hi, I hope you're having an amazing day. As you saw from the title of this video, today we're going to be playing with some new makeup from She Glam. Basically, we're playing with their Modern Love Collection. I have all of their liquid shadows. We have their lip product. We have their liquid liner. Basically, I bought their PR package. I have all of their lip to cheek products and also have a couple of other new items that we're going to use on the face. It's some things varying from like the Dollar Tree to color pop and all of that so if you want to see everything that i use on the face and my thoughts on everything just keep on watching before that don't forget if you like drugs and makeup go ahead and stick around subscribe maybe hit the bell so you're notified whenever i upload and if you can like the video if you like it and the video is going to start right now i went ahead and filled in my brows using my beauty bay brow pencil in the shade brownie it's so good i also went ahead and cleaned up the brows using my elf camo concealer and i primed the lids using this situation that's in my shop my stash for the month of february which is the be bella eye base and i went ahead and just finished up the eyes off camera now my lips are so dry I definitely have to put some of this on so this is part of the modern love collection from she glam and there's a look at that so i did film a whole haul video where i did up close and personal swatches and all of that so i don't know if i'm gonna be doing that today but basically that's how that looks you have your little cover and that's how the product looks so i haven't dipped into this but um, from what i can see it's like this pinky kind of substance and it does have little shimmers in it the name on the screen but i believe this is just a regular lip balm i don't think it's like an overnight mask or whatever it also does come with like a little spatula situation so i'm just going to go ahead and dip into that oh my god my lips are so dry so let's go on oh yeah it's very shimmery that's really nice so i'm really liking that and this works so well with it so i'm really happy i got this if i don't use it as like a regular lip balm situation i'll definitely use it overnight because it's very hydrating on the lips definitely a win from the modern love collection so far especially because they included this and the little applicator has definitely made a difference i don't like dipping my finger into things especially when i'm wearing nails so this is very convenient we have quite a few things to play with i also went ahead and added these brushes that i mentioned in my 99 cent store um, haul video recently we have some eyeshadows from the modern love collection that i mentioned in that haul video so i'm gonna go ahead and see what we can do with this i did read the like little description on these products so basically these are liquid eyeshadows we have the first one which is a matte shade which is the one in bu it's like a neutral kind of brown shade we also have a shimmer shade which will go right over top and this one's in the shade wink and then we have a glitter shade which these are very liquidy so be careful when you're opening them um i thought it was like a like liquid shadow but you know usually they're not as liquidy and you could kind of hold them down and they don't come out but these are extremely like watery so they come out of the tube so just be careful with that and this is the glitter in the shade shine so this would go right over top as well so let's see how these work so basically they come in this little mini situation when you open it it comes with a dofa applicator and from what i saw online you're supposed to put this over top and kind of tap it out as a base so i'm just gonna throw this on and again this is the shade bu i'm also taking one of the brushes from the 99 cent store video and i'm gonna help kind of blend this out all right so there's a look at that <laughs> honestly from first impressions i feel like it literally just rubbed off my concealer and my primer that i already had on my lid instead of adding color but let's try this again i'm just going to add a little more i'm going to tap it out with my finger instead it's like really liquidy like it almost doesn't feel like an eyeshadow okay and there's like a little bit of color so let's try that same technique on this eye um i tried it over here just tapping it in with my finger and i don't really see a difference so i don't know i think this shade is a flop which is bu i do want to see if the shade wink works which is just a shimmer shade really pretty and oh that's nice just like a regular shimmer might just have to tap this out all over the lid that shade actually did blend out so nicely as you can see it's like very diffused and really pretty i was scared it was going to leave like a stark 
streak like where I placed it and not blend out at all but it's it's honestly really nice so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other eye I want to see if they layer so I'm gonna go ahead and come back to this eye and again blend it out with my finger all right so the shade wink did really impress me it's really nice now let's get into the glitter which is in the shade shine and i'm thinking with this product let's see how it looks when i just tap it oh that's really nice but it's almost picking up that last um shade that we use so i'm gonna take it with a flat brush instead not loving that okay i'm gonna go back with the shimmer shade i'm almost loving just the shimmer shade on its own on the lid try taking the glitter again but this time i'm gonna take it with my finger and see if that makes a difference and kind of just tap it over so i have to say out of the three so far i'm really loving the shimmer shade in the shade wink i think this is just the best one it blended out nicely now, am I loving it just by itself all over the lid? No, because I'm a person who really does need that matte kind of shade all over the lid. But just for today's, you know, try out purposes situation, um, it looks really nice. Now, the matte shade in the shade BU is not really impressing me. So, so far, I'm kind of like meh about these eyeshadows, honestly. We're going to move right along. I do have a liner from the same collection, and this one is the Modern Love liquid liner it comes with a stamp side which is a little hard and it comes with the liner side which i have used once before so i'm going to go ahead and take the liner side and create a wing i forgot to mention this collection also did come with a car air freshener situation and it smells so good so i'm definitely gonna I use this in my car but i did want to show it to you guys so it's basically just a little heart and in the back it talks about the modern love collection and all the information on that product so yeah really nice next i'm going to go ahead and throw on some mascara and this is a romantic beauty amazonian volume mascara from my shot my stash and i'm gonna throw on some lashes as well so let's go ahead and throw some of this on I'm also going to throw on some of my Chamise lashes and these are the ones that I always wear. I'll have the, well this is the style here. I don't know how to say that but it's such a beautiful style of lashes. So I'm going to throw these on and we'll be back to finish up all of the complexion products. I do have a couple of ColourPop primers. So this is from 4th Ray Beauty which is part of ColourPop Situation, you know, sister brand. And this is the Coconut Face Milk. I also have the 4th Ray Beauty Hello Sunshine Brightening Primer moisturizer so should i just apply both of them i don't know how to really use the face milk i was just going to use it as an overnight situation just to moisturize the skin but i'm gonna go ahead and throw a little bit on the skin now so many people rave about their face milks so i kind of want to try it out i love that it sinks into the skin it doesn't like sit on top of it it's like you could feel it dry down really nice so far next i'm going to take some of the other one which is a hello sunshine over top i haven't really gotten a chance to use this one either this smells really nice it smells like orange juice it's definitely providing brightening like a brightening effect to the skin i also have one more primer and this is the ellie color soothing <laughs> not soothing smoothing face primer and this is the color correcting one in the shade cool pink i'm gonna see if i could apply this on the center of the face and the nose area and see what it does and i was hoping it would mattify a little bit but no it's just kind of it's a color corrector so it's like turning my face pink a little bit it's not as bad as the white one that i used to have but yeah, it didn't really do much. I have a nice glowy kind of canvas going on. Next, I have a Dollar Tree Fine, and this is the new color BB Beauty Benefit Cream in the shade Medium 1. I haven't used this at all, so I do want to see how this works. It's to apply with your fingertips, but I'm just going to go ahead and use my sponge as I always do, and that's the color there. It's a, it's a little messy, but let's hope it matches me. I do have my e.l.f. sponge from the Cookies and Dreams collection. It really did even out my skin tone a bit on this side. It's a difference one side with the product. It's a little more redness on this side. So let's see if we can see how it looks when it's all on. 
all right so basically it is like a bb cream so it's not going to cover up anything a lot of people rave about this product i'm a foundation person i am a full coverage foundation person um so this product it looks really nice on the skin you can definitely see all of the um hydration all of the glowiness from the primers coming through um i want to see if i can build this up just a little bit and on the back it does say to avoid you know don't put it on your eyes or put it in your eye and avoid the mouth area as well so oh yeah it's definitely building up just a little bit yeah oh that's nice it's it, it's actually building up i'm like shocked i didn't think it would it's like building up just a little bit i'm not freaking out too much about the foundation and it being so glowy because i do have my beauty creations powder and that's going to provide more coverage and hopefully mattify my skin just a little bit if not i do have a setting spray that will do that because i'm really shiny and i do have oily skin especially my t-zone oh this definitely my eyebrows are pretty gone but it's okay we'll fix them later okay i'm really impressed it built up it looks nice on the skin it's definitely not full coverage for a nice kind of everyday moment it's cute and the shade isn't too bad from what i can see i don't know how it's going to come up on camera but yeah this is okay actually i'm really surprised we have some new concealers from chamise and this is their top secret concealers i grabbed mine in two shades i have the shade natural beige i could kind of use this as a cream bronzer situation and i have the shade buff in the regular concealer basically it looks like this this is the shade buff it's very light i didn't think it was going to be comparable to their other concealer like the shade range but yeah buff is really light on me and i didn't even notice you know when i was placing the order and then this one is a natural beige which i'm going to use to bronze up the skin i do have my aoa studio color corrector in peach so i'm going to go ahead and throw some of this on first just to provide a little coverage but also to color correct a little bit under my eyes next i'm taking a brush and i'm going to go into that concealer it's like a oh it's pretty creamy and i'm just going to go over top the color corrector and a little bit on the nose and the forehead and the chin and I am getting ready to film a video right after this on Chamisse, basically reviewing their best sellers on their website. So definitely keep an eye out for that because I'm sure they're going to be adding these concealers to the mix soon. It's definitely very bright because the shade is so light, you know. Oh, that looks really cute though especially with that color corrector i know it helps so much with the coverage oh yeah that looks good and that blended out so nicely and i heard that supposedly they don't have good reviews on the site now but i'm honestly really impressed it blended out so nicely especially with the color corrector so if you own that definitely try it out with that if you don't like it oh yeah it looks really nice on the under eyes maybe i should have done cream products first but got a little ahead of myself so i'm gonna go ahead and take this product again which is the one in natural beige i'm gonna go ahead and swirl my brush around again it is a very creamy product and i'm gonna keep that shade a little high and because it is a concealer shade it's like blending in so effortlessly with this brush but it is going a little too high <laughs> higher than i intended but i'm just gonna blend that out with my sponge all right so if you guys watch my haul video this collection did come with three lip to cheek products so i'm just gonna use one of them today in the shade hug me which is definitely gonna go with today's look but we do have this shade here which is a bright kind of coral and this is the shade kiss me and then we have a very bright pinky shade in the shade call me so i have the swatches on the screen that i did in the haul video but i'm not going to use those other ones i'm just going to use this shade again in the shade hug me and this is how the product looks basically comes with a big dofa applicator i'm not going to use it on the lips today 
but you definitely could. And I'm gonna apply some on the cheek and try to blend that out. So it is a very sheer product from what I saw when I was swatching them, but look at how effortlessly it blends into the skin. It's such a nice color. It's a really nice and I love the Dofa applicator that they chose for this product. Look, it just blends in so nicely. Oh, I love this. Okay, perfect. Blend it in so easily, so effortlessly. I thought I applied too much, but it just it blended in so nicely. Like I'm really excited about this product. I'm definitely going to get a lot of use out of them. I've really been into finding my perfect cream blush formula. I have to say, these are definitely a contender. The shade is stunning. I have the Ellie Colors Glow Stick in the shade Poppin' that's in my project pan. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of dot this on. I'm going to go ahead and set my under eyes using my Ellie Colors Press Powder. I already hit pan on this product, so I do want to keep kind of working through it till you know, we see bigger pan. But I'm going to take my, there's also like, you could almost see the waffle situation on the bottom. You see like the pan down there. So I'm going to take my brush and just set those under eyes down. I could even just use my sponge. It's just quicker. I love this powder. It's like really kind of mattifying that center area of my face where I need it because again, I'm really oily that worked so well and then you see the pan got expanded i do want to focus on this so i can finish it up rather quickly and get it out of my collection and hopefully i find it again but i'm really again trying to strive to you know use up a lot of products this year so that's why yeah you guys are seeing a lot of empties videos and stuff anyway let's move on to press powder i have my beauty creations press powder foundation this is in the shade fsp 11.0 it is also broken if you guys have been here on my channel so I have to be very careful when i'm using this product i'm gonna go ahead and throw that on all right now that the face is powder i'm gonna go ahead and take my powder products i'm gonna take my color central bronzer duo and basically why not use a new brush i'm gonna take this one and i'm gonna try to just stick to the matte side of this powder because i'm not a shimmer bronzer person right now I just prefer a matte bronzer, so hopefully this looks good. Next, taking my ColourPop Lizzie McGuire blush. And again, I'm going to take a new brush. And this is how that looks. If you haven't seen it, it's very shimmery. I'm going to keep that a little high on the face. For highlight, we have my Metamorphosis Bonita face palette. And... I think I'm going to use this for the inner corners as well as the face. So I'm just going to stick to those two center shades. They're more pinky. I'm going to go ahead and set my face using my Beauty Creations Rose Setting Spray before I go into the highlighter. And hopefully this mattifies my skin. Oh, it's so nice. It smells so good. Again, going into the same shades. This is so nice. I've really been loving this palette from Metamorphosis this month. Especially when I spray my face, it kind of makes the glitters go away and it just makes it go like mesh into the skin a lot better than when I just apply it when my skin is dry. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm also going to apply some on the nose. I'm just filling in my brows a little bit so they look a little fuller. They also did disappear with all the powder products. And the you know the creams I'm gonna set my brows using my elf Wow brow I believe this is in the shade dark brown really trying to avoid my under eyes because I don't know what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna take my Ellie colors a gel lip liner in the shade hottie yes and I've been using this as an eyeliner so I'm gonna use it on the lower lash line again I am taking my bronzer and I'm gonna use the matte side I'm just going to use that to smoke out that lower lash line here. Just so we can have something. Since I didn't bring any eyeshadow palette today. Alright, I did go ahead and throw on some mascara on my lower lashes. So there is a little bit of smudging. I'm going to fix that 
in a little bit next we're moving on to lips so i do have my she glam lip liner and i always say this is in the shade coffee break but it's something else i don't remember my face is looking so glowy it looks cute but i know at the end of the day this is not gonna last next i'm taking my ellie colors pout lip gloss matte and this one's in the shade let's kiss it's like the perfect pinky kind of shade i've talked about these liquid lipsticks before they're extremely drying but they're also um like transfer proof so perfect for the mask situation and i like them with a gloss over top so yeah but they're not the most comfortable on the lips because they dry down so matte and so quickly and to top it off i'm going to take my ioni lip gloss right on top and it looks so nice all right guys so this is the final look let me know down below your thoughts on everything let me tell you guys mine right now okay let's talk about the modern love collection first of all so i did go ahead and pick up the pr box situation it retailed for around 30 dollars on the website okay the lip product so this is the it's like a lip mask or a lip balm situation it came with its little applicator i think this is definitely worth it if you're in the market for one but honestly i wouldn't tell you to run off go get it because it's basically just like any other lip balm it hydrated and it prepped the lips before everything else went on so this i really much enjoyed the next product let's talk about the eyeliner which honestly i wanted to do the stamp side but i'm a little scared it's going to ruin my makeup but the liner is honestly really nice i wish the actual like applicator was a little longer but it works really nice it's really black and i have nothing bad to say about this product the stamp side is really nice i'm just always scared with stamps because i'm scared it's gonna ruin my makeup if i accidentally do it wrong and you know um but really nice really nice concept and i'm really into trying out different black liners because i do wings all the times on my eyes so yeah that's really nice let's talk about the eyeshadows <laughs> This is possibly the one product that I was really disappointed by. Now, the look looks fine. I mean, this eye looks a little more orangey, but whatever. It looks cute, but it's only because the shimmer shade kind of saved the look. I'm just not really into these types of products. Let me know down below if you've tried these products, how do you make them work for you? Because I honestly, I didn't have the greatest time using these and I'd rather just stick to powder eyeshadow. But again, I'm glad that I tried them, but meh. I wouldn't pick them up let's see if i could go back i would just pick up these products because these are really amazing and they blend it out so nice on the face especially the shade hug me i'm definitely going to keep using this i love this as a cream blush now am i going to use it as a lip product maybe we'll try it one day why not maybe on instagram or something but you know on the face they look really nice and i can't wait to try out the other shades which this one here the bright one is in kiss me yeah and then this one which is a more, more muted shade is in the shade call me so these are so cute i love the packaging i love the giant dofa applicator they blend out really easily so these i was really impressed by let's talk about the other new products that i used the aoa studio top secret concealers honestly i'm really impressed now they did start to crease a little bit on my under eyes but that's could possibly be the primers that i have underneath as well because they are very hydrating and i feel like the foundation also because it was something new that i tried i don't know if any of that played a factor but these are honestly really nice and i'm really impressed they blended out so nicely and i think the color corrector helped a lot on the under eyes so yeah the one in buff was really nice i wish i would have picked up a shade deeper honestly i didn't notice you know what i was choosing but whatever and then the one in natural beige that i used as a bronzer was okay um yeah it's cute that's the reason i wanted it just to try it out and see what i thought but i think i'm going to reach for the concealer for my under eyes more than for that you know bronzer situation so next let's talk about foundation or actually let's talk about primers first because this is what is under the foundation that's making it so glowy the fourth ray product so the face milk really nice now this is definitely not I don't know for me i feel like this is a product i would throw on at night so i think that's what i'm going to keep using this as is a moisturizer for the nighttime or even just before makeup you know before i film or anything i could use that just to prep the skin now this is definitely a face primer this is really nice it smells really good it smells like oranges or like orange juice and this provided so much brightness to my face i'm very shocked it's really nice however i would pair it with a mattifying primer because i am looking really shiny even with my mattifying setting spray 
and the powders over top is just a little much and i know this is not gonna last my skin but for now it's cute i'm looking healthy but also on the verge of oily so i'm kind of like it's cute but it's definitely one that i would have to pair with a mightifying primer and then again this is going to go into my um, skincare bin next is the foundation this is actually well it isn't a foundation it's a bb cream and honestly it's really nice it didn't disappoint it was a little light coverage because again it is a bb cream but it did build up and it covered up what i needed to be covered up now it definitely isn't mattifying at all as you can see i think it, it added even more glowiness to my skin but it looks honestly really nice i definitely cannot wait to try this out with different primers maybe see if i can um, use this and make my skin a little more matte because i'm extremely oily and like very glowy right now um but this is really nice i'm really surprised i didn't think i was gonna love it um and the shade is honestly really nice and it just blended into the skin so effortlessly and i love the fact that you can both this up as well so yeah i'm really surprised by everything we tried out i have to say the only fail for me today were the eyeshadows like the liquid shadows and let me know your thoughts on everything down below and we made it to the end so i hope you enjoyed watching as much as i enjoyed filming this for you today everything that i talked about all the names of the prices are going to be down below as well as any videos that i mentioned throughout this video or videos that i uploaded last week don't forget to upload three times a week on tuesday thursday and sundays if you could stick around that would be amazing i have my insta handle displayed on the screen i post a lot of makeup finds from drugstore to high end as well as some makeup videos on different types of looks using different palettes and new products so if you want to see videos and photos and all of that on makeup definitely give me a follow over there and it'd be so amazing if you could like and subscribe of course you don't have to you're your own person and make your own decisions but it wouldn't hurt to give this video a like and i'll see you guys on the next one bye